hi everyone and welcome to card number five of my um 2013 birthday series and today i am showcasing and i don't know why i'm having such a hard time focusing um jaded blossoms java time and this is i just got this in the mail last week and we're working with the little girl and the sentiment coffee and cake let me see you can see it coffee and cake makes a, makes a birthday great birthday is great i should say okay now if already you're going to also need hopefully let me see something is not focusing so Okay. Okay, there we go. So I'm starting out with an eight and a half by five and a half piece of um, mermaid cardstock. This is from Amuse Studio. And we're just gonna fold fold this. And you want with um this cardstock, you do want to make sure you have a really good score so that the um the full line um, don't crack at the ends. So I usually go over it four or five times um, in my score. Okay. And I have a feeling I'm going to need my card to be okay. So I'm using a sketch and actually, I should have made my card a different way, but actually, yeah, I can do it this way. This way will be fine. No, no, I'm, I'm busy right now. Okay. Not right now. I will get them in a minute. Okay. So we're going to have this piece lay down here. And then we're going to have some ribbon but the ribbon is gonna go the way the ribbon needs to go so it won't um okay see I, I'm working this out with you guys I have not pre-planned this I just picked out a sketch started coloring so it's gonna go on like this Okay, so when it goes through, it's going to have to come up this way, so then that way, this piece can hide the cut. Okay. And the ribbon I'm using is from Amuse Studio, and it's called Bubblegum. The paper, this um, pattern paper, is from Recollections, The Fabulous Girl. I think this is a new paper pack that they have. And then I have a piece of um, Early Expresso cardstock. And I die cut these two pieces, because I was just a little, little too lazy to try to measure and cut, using... The A2 um, Matting Basics A. And hopefully one day Michaels will have the B part. So let's start layering this down. Hey. So now I'm, I'm just going to get some ribbon here. I need some adhesive. 
and put it at the ends of my ribbon. this up. Then we are, we're going to have a girl right there. And then we need to get our sentiment. Now the question is, where do I want to put the sentiment at? I can easily put it down there or I can maybe just turn it and have it off to the side but I don't know if I really like that so I do need to turn this to face me the, um, to do the stamping part here go ahead and use this bubblegum ink but I do need to test it out since I have not used this stamp before pigment ink so it should pick up in the cardstock right okay so okay Hopefully you can see it is very subtle in there. So I would say if you're, especially if you're mass producing this, I would probably use black and I probably should have. But it can still be seen, so. Just gonna stick an image on there 
and voila there we go and make sure this is okay i'm just trying to make sure that this is right just because when i look at it on the video the way i'm looking at the video back the playback it looks a little funny so but i believe this is the right way so thank you for joining me today this is card number five and i will be back with another video thank you